Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. So today when it comes to Mac OS 14 Sonoma, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a new software update as you can see right there. It's available and it's 14.4 beta one i'm currently on the developer beta and for me on my macbook you can see it came in at a reasonably sized update 3.44 gigs and i'm updating from mac os 14.3 right here you can see the download file size has remained more or less the same which is something that's good about this update because some others when you see the update size and the download file size sometimes there's differences but this one has remained more or less the same and it's downloading pretty normal and i'll be happy to let you know that this is not all that apple released today in fact they released macOS 14.4 beta 1 alongside watchOS 10.4 beta 1. And then last week, which was on the 25th, they released iOS 17.4 beta 1 alongside iPadOS and they also released tvOS alongside that. So macOS and watchOS came a few days later, but it's good that we have this update. And now I'm just quickly going to finish the update and then we're going to see what are the new features and changes this update has to offer. Boom. So just like that, we are now up to date and already just looking at the background. And if you are observant, you can see that we've already had the first change with this update which I'll highlight shortly but for now if we go into our system preferences and then go to general and go to software update you'll be able to see the new build number that we have it's 23 e 5180j so this ends with a j and in terms of stability you can see that we are still uh, we still have a little bit of work to do and it shows that maybe we are looking at a release that's somewhere in march which should be first or second week of march now in terms of some of the changes that i hear with this update like i mentioned the first one if you look at the wallpaper of my desktop right, right here you can see it's changed and i'm not the one who did that it's because apple actually removed some of the wallpapers that were existing for the new macbooks and imacs so here if we go into our system settings right here and go to where it says wallpapers and go all the way down you can see on the pictures here we used to have the new wallpapers for the new imacs that were just released and we also had the new macbook pros that the black wallpaper which i also had before but you can see now after updating this has all been removed and uh, i don't know why but this has happened before even with mac os 14.3 and then before the update came out to the public they actually brought them back so we'll see whether that's going to be the case here with this update but for now maybe we'll try something different like this if you press control command and spacebar you can see it opens up your emoji tab here and what i want to show you here are the new emojis that are here with mac os 14.4 so right here you can see when i click on this one it's showing this emoji and head shaking vertically so it's like you're shaking your head like this to say yes or you know in agreement to something and then this one shaking head horizontally so it's basically this emoji like this and there's other emojis too that have been added for example if you go to where it says uh, food and drinks right here you can see we have this new lime emoji that has been added we also get a mushroom among a few others and then if you go to the symbols right here you notice some updated icons here when it comes to like family so this one is showing adult adult child and then this one is adult adult child child and then this one is adult child and then this one is adult child child emojis so those icons have been added among a few others that are here and once this update comes out you'll be able to see it for yourself after updating you can see i was greeted by a new pop-up screen for podcast it doesn't seem to mention what's really changing here but if you click there you can see oh it comes back again so <laughs> maybe that's a glitch but let me click continue again just to see okay this time around it didn't come back again but if i play this podcast right here you can see if i was to go to the now playing tab the overall aesthetic has been updated slightly and then this tab too that you see here has been updated and 
overall it's just wording changes and it's trying to look more like apple music which i don't know why but at the same time if you open up your apple music application i just want to show you some of the music changes it opened up on my main monitor but you can see here this tab that used to be called listen now on your apple music if you're still on mac os 14.3 this is still called listen now but now on the latest mac os 14.4 it's now been reversed to home and now if you go into the browse section you'll be able to see the listen now tabs and different section as well as well as your top list so very minor changes here and then another change that i wanted to show you here if we go into our system preferences and then we want to go to where it says siri and spotlight you can see i have the option to put hey and then siri or just the siri phrase which is the one that i have selected so if you are in germany now you have this option where you can say siri by itself or you can say hey and then the siri phrase to activate this voice command for siri another change that's here has to do with clock so if you open up your clock item and then you go to the ringtones right here if you go all the way down you can see we have these classics and including others too so if you're on mac os 14.3 the last ringtone you will see before classic is called waves but now you can see they've added quite a number including value and then if you go to the classic if you're on mac os 14.3 under classics you won't see all this list that you see here and you can see you can be able to scroll up and down with mac os 14.4 beta 1 because they've added all the classics and uh, thanks to the porting over from ios as well and these are all ringtones that you can check out should you want to use the timers in terms of some of the fixed issues with this update the first one well the main one actually has to do with finder so for example if you wanted to open new tabs or tiling in finder like this there was an issue where it would crash but now with this update that has been resolved but since this update is still in beta it still has a number of issues that are ongoing so for example the first one I noticed is when preparing to install the update it took longer than anticipated than the previous Mac OS 14.3 and then if you're on an Intel based Mac this weather application is experiencing crashing issues so if you rely on this then you definitely shouldn't update and in your messages application if you use third party emojis or stickers those are currently not working properly with the current version of mac os 14.4 and then the last thing that i should highlight here has to do with updating to this update itself because if you're on an older version of mac os to be specific if you're on mac os 11 to mac os 12.3.1 then you won't be able to update to mac os 14.4 this version that i'm on first apple recommends you update to mac os 12.4 and then once you are on mac os 12.4 you can then make the jump from 12.4 to mac os 14.4 which is a big jump but it's a necessary step in this case so basically guys those are all the new features and changes that are here when it comes to this mac os 14.4 update this is the first developer beta if you're a public beta test and then expect this update to be coming out in about a day or two and whether you are thinking if you should be updating or not if you are updating your main device then i highly discourage for you from doing that because it's highly unstable it has a number of issues even the os has hiccups doing the installation preparing i i already saw a number of hiccups so it's already unstable and if you have maybe a backup device that you want to toy around and play around with that could be an update for you to try but so far we still have a long way to go and in if you are thinking of when this update is going to be released i would say first week of march or second week of march that's the time that that's the timeline that we are looking at but other than that that's about it for me leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace